I'm going now to the shrine of Crown Prince Sado and it's located in the parking lot of Seoul National University Hospital in northern Seoul. Sado's life was plagued with difficulties and mental health problems. He had a kind of sadistic nature later on in his life where he murdered and raped many palace people and his father was growing very concerned with how Sadhu was behaving and he knew this man can't be the king of Joseon but I can't kill him as his father so Young Jo's solution to the problem was to put Sadhu into a rice chest and let him starve until he died eight days later after that, Youngjo did feel some sort of regret. He built a shrine to his son, but never really reinstated his position in Korean history. But his son, Sado's son, King Jungjo, was really determined to keep the memory of his father alive, including the shrine that we're about to go see, as well as the Suwon Hwasong Fortress, one of the biggest and most grand fortresses in Korea, which was made by Jungjo as a dedication to his father. There's a movie about Crown Prince Sado. It's known in Korean as just Sado. In English, the name is The Throne. And honestly, it's one of my favorite Korean historical films. They do a really fantastic job with the accurate history, the real characters, the costumes. If I had to say that one thing wasn't exactly historically accurate, it was that the film really played up the idea that Sado's downfall was because of the lack of affection that his father gave him. There is a little bit of evidence with that in history, but we're not 100% sure if that's exactly why Sado became the kind of evil monster character that he's portrayed to be. This place really symbolizes for me the kind of opportunities that we have to remember history and the way that people choose not to. So we talked a little bit about Sado and his nature, and I think, you know, for obvious reasons, a lot of people don't want to memorialize Sado. They don't really want to remember him as a Korean historical figure. Um, but the fact of the matter to me is that he was a large part in history. His father was a great king. His son was a great king. His story was, you know, tragic and it talked a lot about morals at the time. And I think we have to maintain and upkeep the places, even places like this that memorialize people who might not have been the best people in history. Um, so right now they're doing some renovation work and I really hope they do a good job. I hope more people are able to visit here. You can kind of see it looks a little run down, but I think it has a story worth telling. All stories are worth telling to me. Now it's time to go visit some of the palaces. Would you like to see the European inspired buildings of Poksugu? or the towering walls of Gyeongbokgung, Seoul's largest palace. 